or if yeah. there's other, you know, trusted members that have texted him. Yeah, there probably is, to be honest. Uh, I'll have a talk with the guys when they're in city. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely, it's something that needs to just be fucking, he needs to be wiped from the streets, in my opinion, because yes. if this shit gets, becomes too public, then it's going to become mm -hmm. a problem. Yeah, we already yeah. will definitely have to look into how a single officer pulled out multiple ARs and MP3s without it being logged, if you understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, he's... Uh, we'll just have to talk to the armory sergeant and get... Yeah. ...data uh, logs from it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think one of the main folks is, is I'll definitely try to get that code for you. Um, for that evidence locker, whatever it is. I'm just like curious, um, curious to know what's in there to be honest, because what it sounds he like. Said, he said, uh, he out. said laptops, thermites. He he was he was explaining it. I remember him talking about it. He was uh, I remember sitting there, and we're in little stuff. He's like, he's like, oh boys, I got this uh, I got this evidence. He's like, I used to book suspects when I was a uh, an officer, and instead of putting it in the evidence locker, I'd chuck it in my own one, and me and Jessica would share share the the locker, and he was going on saying like. It was laptops, stacks of cash, uh, thermites, like a whole bunch of contraband. And he was trying to work out a plan on how to um, how to get it out. Mm. And it's very lucky. You guys got very lucky that, you know, uh, he was fired because Jessica was really working on moving that shit. I, I, we, I, we actually had a conversation with her uh, when she was off duty once. Do you she, know if they've... Yeah, do you know if they've uh, spoken about removing anything, even if it's not all of it, obviously, but, you know, any anything that came up in conversation of them, maybe uh, before Jessica quit, complete, or sorry, quit or was fired prior, um, sure. since it seems he was doing this for a while, that he may have moved mm -hmm. this into his apartment or house? Uh, no, I don't think he ever got it in, into his apartment. I don't think he did. I think he would, uh, I don't know what the fuck he would do with it. He said he'd just keep it in his evidence locker and when he needed it, he'd just take it out. Um, he, he probably also didn't have it in his apartment, like due to the fact that in case he got raided in whatever way, then he wouldn't have got busted with it all. Um, but yeah, that's my guess. I mean, it's probably still sitting there, and that's who knows who knows where it is. I don't know if he has it and he's lying to us or whatever. But he said it's in the evidence locker. He said it starts with one, two, four. He said the whole it's like a fucking six, seven digit number or some. I don't even remember. And I know it has one, two, four in it. It's fucking huge. He he, he made it just so officers can't find it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how they, how you guys like do your evidence or whatever, but yeah, no, we, we'd have way. to. Yeah, no, we we have to know the number. So we'll. Uh... But you search like hundreds of different ones to find this kind of. Yeah, exactly. He, that's probably why he did a huge number. Yeah. So we'll um. Yeah, just find see if you can find out that number for us. Yeah. Uh, and we'll uh we'll go from there we'll see if we can also check our evidence logs i'm sure if you you know technically if you open up a locker it should be on paper somewhere so yeah we'll see if we can uh talk to the uh the guys in charge of evidence see if they can look into it yeah maybe something was left behind yeah i don't know i'm glad you guys got that uh that charger on something he yeah, had like uh, he also had. I don't know if you guys even searched the thing, or I don't know if he has it now, but he had like tons of eye packs and body armor and stuff. That thing. Yeah, we weren't really able to uh, to search it. It was oh, okay. uh, towed from the garage and oh, uh, just ultimately destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it just that's just. I'm just scared of yeah. it releases publicly because you know I don't want I don't want this. To, I don't want you guys to have to change your your fucking SOPs or whatever it is. Uh, I don't think thing. people knowing our SOPs isn't really going to let us uh, change them. Only because we have in the past, and I won't be surprised if in the future, you know, people yeah. magically have cousins that know the SOPs. And all that yeah. other bullshit. So. But, uh, I'm here. I found the message here. I'll get this sent to you. Okay. But yeah, just anything, any kind of text messages um, that you want to send through, even if they don't seem major. I understand, obviously, with it being uh, private conversations, you might have things in there. Oh, we do not have any private conversations at all. Okay. 
Well then, I mean, like you're like flexing, just like adds everything. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. You're you know he isn't quite yeah, about anything. Just kind of, a, he's he's just kind of a yeah. Flex. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're you're welcome to send any and all text messages, um, no matter how big or small they are. Anything from his, you know, uh, the the bounty list, talk of scones to you know his sciatica or whatever the fuck he's taking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. To be honest. <clears throat> I mean, I guess he had. He was thinking trust, he wasn't but... going to get caught. That's what he was thinking. Yeah, I, 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 and I did trust him at first. And like at first, we all thought we're like, oh yes, this is great. Like we know all about the PD. And like, I mean, we, we haven't even used it once to our advantage at all. Even though like we don't even know much, he doesn't really expect. He's mainly just told us like all everything that he has and everything he's trying to get from the PD. Um, but then once he started, uh, you know, siding with BSB, which is like something that we despise. Or like a group we despise, it's, and he was like, "Do you? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, do you have any way of this message showing him being the one sending it? Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Like if if you need to go and and you know yeah, yeah, put it does. through some yeah, some yeah. editing to black out any other parts of the conversation, no, you're fine. But yeah. And then uh, yeah, just we'll we'll throw that out there. Right then. Well. But yeah, it's just the main I'm concerned was that these pink guys just have all these <clears throat> guns, but I don't know how the hell they have them in the first place. They just seem yeah. to have them all the time, uh, like every sure altercation, they everything. They, they chain rob Bobcat. No, we're talking about the uh, the MP5 ARs, and the PDAR. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, whole they just well, MP5, MP5s are obvious, but... Um, that's a whole different yeah. scenario. I actually remember the PDAR. Uh, yeah, they third party robbed it. Yeah, well, it actually wasn't them. It was some random guy. I remember he came. He actually came to Little Soul, uh one day, and he actually offered it to us. We declined it though. We didn't. We weren't trying to get raided. Yeah, the, um, the kid third party robbed it while we were in a shootout. Yeah. So he uh, tried okay. to sell it to us. We're like, nah, we're not taking it. So I'm assuming he went to BSB and yeah, they bought it off them. It also, kind of fishy how they got the ammo for that thing, but. Uh is. yeah, they're a little bit powerful with that because uh, apparently you can use rifle ammo. Oh, Sniper nice. hunting rifle ammo. So the yeah, that's what I heard too. Please don't do that. Yeah, that's uh, really pathetic on them. Oh, yeah, I didn't know because that. because it every like scene they uh, they uh, kind of mm -hmm. dump, you know, they yeah. kind of dump like a hundred rounds into like oh, everyone's yeah. corpse, and I'm kind of like, how the hell are they? Yeah, no, it's absolutely fucking pathetic. Yeah, I watched they're, you guys have a shootout with them at the Rockford Plaza one day. They're fucking like, sleazy. I, like I want to make it to where building. you can't even uh, purchase hunting stuff without the license, like the ammo. Because I think they can still purchase the ammo without the Yeah, you can. You can technically still hunt with a license. Yeah. No, they're... They're pretty pathetic. But it's kind of like every single scene no, they have. Uh, like, but not just like occasionally. Like, they've always got on them. It's weird. Yeah, they have their little loophole. Yeah. I'd like to keep my phone out, please. <clears throat> Beautiful, thank you. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can juice Thunderwood, see if we can get anything out of him. Yeah, Fluff is... Give him a little fluff, I guarantee he'll squeal. Because I'm pretty sure he's back in a couple of days, so we'll see. Yeah, he, uh, he's stuck in space for a bit. He's been stuck yeah. in space for a bit, so... He's been able to enter any cities, but... He's coming back here in a couple of days, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll try to get this yeah, all you... figured out before he can be back. I guarantee if you stroke his ego, he'll... He'll see. Yeah. He loves it. He absolutely loves it, he always has. Yeah, we're at, the, at this point, uh, I was just trying to figure out how the fuck we're gonna get rid of him without him exposing all this shit. He has no idea we're doing this at all. I mean, no one. I don't even think anyone on high table knows. Yeah, anyone else knows in the high table, to be honest. Yeah. I just feel like I have to, like, tell you guys. So. Yeah, I mean, we appreciate y'all coming to us. Alright, well, let's, uh,. Send you guys on your way. Perfect. I look forward to that cadet application.